Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we explored uh, Corgan Hold here to try to find um, Ratsu Fur's uh, Charter. We found it one time, and then we couldn't find it the second time. So, yeah, that kind of sucked, but oh well. We got other stuff to do, like go hunt down these guys for the Aster Amulets, or we could go start that side quest, or we could go do... A whole ton of other stuff in this uh, Tolerain area. Or you can go start that side quest. So yeah, there's lots of stuff to do in here. And we also got plenty of uh, lore stones to find there. Uh, I'm trying to decide which way should we go. Should we go north to get to the Helm Guard Keep? Or should we go counterclockwise? I'm thinking let's just go counterclockwise. And then we'll eventually end up at Helm Guard Keep anyways. Because that'll be an episode of all chit-chatting with the guards and whatnot. So... Let's have a few episodes of action, and then we'll have a few episodes of talking ourselves to death. But these guys. Okay, you little fuckers in your damn. There you go. They're really fast little bastards, that's for sure. Okay, do I even care about this stuff on this rock? I think I was here already, and there wasn't anything too great up here, was there? Yeah. Let's just get out of here. Good thing there was actually not a jump point because if we try to jump down from here, we'd probably die. So let's uh, not try to die here. Uh, Kobolds, I'm not too terribly caring about you. Fear Gorta, again, not too too terribly caring. And, right. I wasn't sure what time. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for well, the first quest right here, the Neam Kent. Probably no relation to Clark, but we'll find out. If he's wearing glasses and has S on his chest, then he might be. Or it could be... Okay, I guess you're a dude. I can't really tell. Salutations. But... Okay, you're a dude. Hmm. Another soul who traverses these forsaken crags. I presume that, unlike me, you are here by choice. I'm here for the loot, pretty much. Eh, tell me about the Kent family. Tell me, about, tell me, about, tell me about your farm. My family was once very important in Talarain. One of my ancestors even served as a commander of the Aster Army. However, that was long ago. Now very few of us remain. Myself, for one, and my sister Nameria, who is usually not far. She prefers to keep an eye on me. So she's the hunter of the family. You're the gatherer. Eh, it works. Niam Kent, scion of the Rathir Kents, master of fortunes vast and ill-spent. I am not one to tout my lineage, so please suppress your curiosity and ask no more of it. The Plains of Arathal appear to be a place where people have money and then get rid of it real fast. Or at some point in their lives. The command of Helmgard has tasked me with eradicating the monsters from Talarain. Rather beneath my station, if you were to ask me. Though Helmgard feels this work is, shall we say, compensation for past deeds. I do not care too much for this place myself, but then again, I did not come here by choice. Well, it's, it, it may not be like the most exciting place, but it's got a great view, that's for sure. It's sort of, sort of a very nice looking area. I like it so far. Ah, allow me to introduce myself. I am Naim Kent of the Rathir Kents, an Oathblade of the Honored and Venerable Warsworn Order. I have been tasked with eradicating the beasts that lurk within Talarain, all of them, by myself, a feat that may only take a few decades. I shall be honest with you, I am not one for fieldwork, and my wealth is substantial. If you feel up to the task, I will pay you to kill these beasts for me. Sure, I'm going to kill him anyways, might as well get paid for it. I must have misunderstood him when he said fortune's ill-spent. I thought he meant he, like, gambled it away like the other guy. Excellent. Finish things quickly, and we shall be up to our elbows and tankards before winter feast. Among these ruins are several kobolds making a nuisance of themselves, and it is best to remove them. Rotclaw is a warrior. Blackshriek is among the deadly Nightblade, and King Fang... He is the closest thing the kobolds have to a leader. 
I am of the Warsworn, bound to my service by oath. I serve the command at Helmgard. It is Helmgard who, shall we say, reassigned me to Talarain to rid the lands of the creatures that infest them. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. Okay, then I'm just going to get this out of the way because so we know why you want me to do it. Because they told you to. Blah, blah, blah. You earn. Fear not. You shall find them lurking somewhere around these ruins. Yeah, there's only a couple of them. It shouldn't take that long at all. You know what? Later. Screw it. Let's go pursue it. Um. Oh, they're all over the place. There's one and two and three and. The invoices, amulets, my contact. I forgot about that guy, actually. Uh, he'll be there eventually. Um, huh. You know what? We'll kill the uh, kobolds sooner or later. But for now, let's continue on our merry little path here. Let's continue in our counterclockwise direction that we're headed here. I thought he was just. I, I thought he was going to say we have to go to uh, over there to kill the cobalt, but I guess not. Do I really care about you? Not particularly, but you're there. So you might as well die. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? There was only one of you a minute ago, wasn't there? What did he do? Summon another one? I think he, I think they are summoning other ones. Maybe you gotta kill them all at once. Like that. There you go. That's the ticket. Yeah, they must have summoned him or something. or Either that or they called for help. It, dude. Hey. Jeez, how many of you fuckers are there? I mean, not that they're tough or anything. It's just I wasn't expecting a billion of the little rat bastards. And by a billion, I mean like two or three. Or five, or however many there were. All right, health regen. Yeah, I'm not finding those too useful yet. Maybe maybe they'll be more useful later on. Let's see here. All right, let's go towards the left fork here. I'm not worried about the uh, regions for the time being. I think I have enough to last me for quite some time, actually. But I do want that stone right there. Alright, we gotta get up there at some point. Uh, let's see here. Alright, let's go this way for the quest. I wonder if they're gonna want me to kill kobolds too. Eh, not gonna, not gonna turn down a chance to rid the plains of vermin. Alright, where are you? Hey, it's a dwarf. Or a gnome, or whatever you damn things are. Ah, hello. My name is Lannis Davro. I'm a mage of the Scolia Arcana. I don't suppose you have any spare time on your hands. I could use your help with my current research. Actually, I happen to be a member of your uh, Scolia Arcania stuff myself, I think. I'm not sure if I actually passed the initiation. I think I did, but I'm not sure. The nearest chapter house is in the city of Rathir. I am only tenuously associated with them. I prefer to spend most of my time here, where there's no one to bother me. This place is full of monsters, which makes it the perfect place for me to test new magic. New magic? That sounds awesome. Uh, not that you're going to let me use any of it, of course, but still. I am a mage of the Scolia Arcana. I have come to Talarain to test some new magic that I have devised. I have been working on a new type of magic to track the slaying of beasts. I have vials of clear liquid, which, in theory, will change color once a specific number of monsters have been slain. I believe I have perfected the formula, though I could use a hand in testing it out. Sure, so I just gotta go kill stuff? I'm gonna be doing that anyway, so might as well. Then hunt down the desecrator of these ruins. Kobolds, Crunix, Atten, and those miserable Jotun. I will pay you when these four vials have changed color. One vial should change after you've slain ten kobolds. One after five Crunix. One after three Eden, and the last after three of the Jotun. Good hunting. Okay, sounds easy enough. There are plenty lurking around Talarain, but please don't feel limited to these lands. There are monsters everywhere that must be vanquished. 
Feel free to go where you wish. As long as you return to me with the vials. Sure. Well, Why not? Right. Let's see. Where are they located at here? I guess this is going to be located all over the place here. Cobalt, cobalts. Cobalts. I mean, I'm guessing we're just going to run into them randomly as we run about, so not too terribly worried about that. Okay, that's a uh, shortcut to the tier there, apparently. So let's try not to go too far down here. Uh, you know what? I don't want it to, like, automatically push me forward into the tier and screw up the levels. So let's save here real fast, and then we'll reload in case it does. Yeah, okay, I think it's just... Yeah, we're just gonna... You know what? Just to be on the safe side. Alright, lots of... Critters we gotta kill. Kobolds. More kobolds. Crudocs. What is a crudoc, anyways? Have we seen those? I'm not sure what a crudoc is. The only thing I'm thinking of is a crouton, and... Unless it's a giant walking, talking salad of death, I'm not really gonna guess that that's what what it is. I wonder if the the um, the kobolds that we're gonna kill for that quest are gonna count for this quest. Hello, sir. How you doing? Let's see if our apocalypse spell does a number on you here. Eh, not quite. Yes, the ice shards alone do more damage than the full apocalypse spell, for whatever reason. There we go. You guys aren't that tough, are you? That's what, two out of five already? It's going by pretty fast. Going by pretty fast indeed. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm guessing... Oh, that's the amulet. Okay, so we're going to be getting to the amulet, like, right now. And that little ledge that I wanted to check out earlier. Nice. Because I wanted to check... Oh, that's a lot of you fuckers. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's, uh... Yeah, let's just, uh, kill you softly here. Good night, fellas. They kind of came out of came out of you out of nowhere there. Exceptional hand wraps. Eh, I'll tear them apart for junky regents or something. Alright, let's go ahead and grab... You know what, let's make sure there's no other jumps up here. Like these guys. Alright, you little shits. You know what? Oh, hello. My health, not so good. Right, come here, you little rat bastard. Let's go for a nice melee here. If I can, that'd be awesome. Where is my... Okay, you know, these guys look like they might be resistant to ice because of their, you know, ice hammers here. So let's, uh, meteor. I was going to pop up that, uh, blizzard spell there and use that, but, uh, the whole ice hammer thing might not work out so well. It's not, it's actually, it's not saying it's resisted, so maybe it doesn't resist. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Those do look like pretty awesome hammers, though. I don't I don't think we can get any hammers that look like that. Actually, I don't think we get hammers at all now that I think about it. Do we? Am I just being stupid again? Hammers would be nice if we get them, but they'd probably be of the uh, slow variety. Oh, we do get hammers. Okay, I was thinking. I, I was thinking we didn't get it for some reason. But if we actually got hammers that looked like that to equip, that'd be pretty nice. But again, they're slow. Until a king, a father, died with two heirs, strong and able.
All right, what are we gonna get for the uh, taller rain? Um, lore stones here. Let's see here. Cradle of summer. Oh, extra gold. That's not too shabby. See, the next one that I'm really looking forward to, besides this one, because we're here, let's see, the 5% uh, chance of steel mana, that's going to be nice. Extra health, that's always nice. Burning duration, that's always nice. Some of these aren't really all that great. Like, I don't really care about the bleeding resistance. But uh, so most of them, for the most part, are really good. Uh, the te minus 10% uh, minus equipment requirements, that's pretty decent, actually. Range, I don't think that counts as spells, though. That counts as... Uh, like bow or something, I'm guessing. Um, I mean, only a f only a few of these aren't really all that good. I mean, for the most part, they're all reasonably good. See, so yeah, out of the ones that we got, I'd say the weakest one is probably that right there, just because when are you specifically going to use poison against the fae? I mean, I guess if you're using the um, the finesse tree, that would actually work out really well. Yeah, that's probably the weakest one overall, just because it's for a very specific tree. But, oh well. Not too terribly worried about it. Alright, what do we get over here? We get a spell chest. Alrighty. You know, it seems like most of the, um, the uh, bombs are pretty much gone from these things. Like the, uh, what is it? Those little spiky things, you know. The things that would otherwise make it a royal pain in the testicle to get rid of. Now this is a nice view right here. I like this. Nice view of the area. You got the castle in the distance. You got some kind of skin hanging from that little arch. I don't know. This is a really nice area. I like it. Is that the uh, Wars... I think that actually is the... No? I was about to say, is that the Warsong uh, hold that we passed? No, it's, that's down here. So what is that right there? What is that big ass castle right there? That is Dove Whale. Huh. We're probably gonna end up in there at some point, but either way, that look, this whole area is just nice and impressive looking. I like it. Oh well, let's go ahead and continue on our merry little way here. Ooh, let's see what's down here. What are you guys? You guys are wolves, which I don't particularly need for any particular quest, but I might as well kill you. Why not? You fucked me up when I was a when I was a young lad, a, a young adventurer. So screw all of you guys. Let's see if I can't get you guys all nice and uh, together there. Yeah, that's better. Silk heel. All right, we'll take it. Ooh, what is this? A corpse? Uh, I was hoping that'd be another quest. Sucks for this guy. I saw a video once on YouTube where um, a, hy a hyena was eating a gazelle over in Africa or something like that, and the gazelle was still pretty much alive. It might have been a wildebeest, actually, but yeah, it was still alive, and uh, the hyena was just uh, taking out big old chunks of its intestines and its leg and stuff, and the thing would try to get up and move, but it couldn't because, well, half of its legs were gone. So, yeah, it was pretty gnarly, actually. And I, I saw a similar one with a baboon, who was doing something similar to a gazelle or deer or something. Uh, yeah, pretty much the deer was still alive and the baboon was chowing down, just taking taking big old bites out of its flank. Pretty, pretty gruesome, actually. Alright, what is over here that I'm missing? Oh, here we go. Uh, Bowden Aster. Grave contains an amulet with, with this inscription. To claim the birthright of Aster, it must be shared. Where one amulet offers nothing, the pair will reveal the key to my treasures. Alright, so we got the first amulet piece. And I'm guessing that's why these uh, mass concentration of Etin were here, is because they were protecting the amulet. Either that or they just thought this was a cool place to hang out. I mean, that's what I would do. Yes, I know I said I wasn't going to go for the flowers, but they're so pretty and sparkly, I just can't help myself. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to avoid them for the most part, but I can't promise anything. So, okay, I'm trying to figure out, is is this right here, this little 
lung shape section is that entire thing Candria right there or is that just an and I'm guessing it is I was gonna say that's not the name of the city right there so I guess Candria is a special snowflake and gets two parts to the map there huh oh well not that it really matters just curious all right let's see if we can't find any more chumps here that looks like okay what uh, I was trying to figure out what that little white dot on the um, on the map there was. That was me. For some reason, it was taking a little while to load. Huh. All right, so this is going to go to a treasure chest with War Priest. All right. Let's uh, take these guys out. And you know what? How you doing there, fella? Hello. You're in a bad mood. I want to try to... I know we can't juggle this guy, but I still want the, uh... There you go. I still want that little effect right there. Let's, uh, heal up here. That guy's doing a pretty good chunk of damage here. Let's see how our apocalypse spell does on this guy. He's resisting the first part. Yeah. The apocalypse spell does not do all that much damage, right? You really do do more damage just with the, uh, ice spell here. Okay, he's not very happy with being attacked by lightning, so let's uh, keep that in mind and ignore it. There you go. Just gotta be relentless, otherwise he'll fudge you up there. Ooh, a lot of gold. Very nice. I'll take it. Frozen staff. Not too shabby. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. What do we got? What else we got in here? This guy. What do you got? Lots of gold. I'll take it. Well, they got nice little huts over here. Huh. They even got little doors and everything. I wouldn't expect them to actually have, like, little champion huts, but I guess they are reasonably advanced. It'd be nice if we, like, ran into a quest where we had a friendly Yotin or Etan or whatever and just uh, got to hang out with them for a little bit, you know, help them out with their little troubles. They're probably not going to happen in this game, but that'd be, that would be it would be kind of cool. I mean, some games do that. They're like, oh, let's let's give you the, uh, the faction that's not uh, all... The, the faction of these guys that's not totally assholes. These guys apparently are assholes because they snuck up out of nowhere. So apparently this Aster guy might have more than more than one treasure chest because there was the one in uh, what is it? There was the one in the the Corgan Hold. There's this one right here. So apparently we're going to have to come back for a few places to actually get all of his treasures here. Which is fine. Make us work for it, I guess. And as usual, the hard lock picking is not usually worth it. Oh, so we got the etch in there. Okay, nice. Let's see, tough and talisman. Extra block. And eh, nothing really great, though. I still prefer the gems. Augur armor. Not too horrible, I guess. They are just throwing gold at us here. Okay, so we got to find Aster's key, but we're not going to have that for a few minutes here. Yeah, let's pop another health potion there. I'm really liking Talarain. I mean, compared to or not, yeah, Talarain compared to the Wolds, there's a lot more to do because the Wolds was like, oh, go to the farm, sell this guy's stuff, and that's pretty much it. Kill a few bandits, and you're done. So. Taller Rain's got a lot more going on. I really like that. All right, more Etin, more Kobolds. All right, let's go ahead and explore this little area right here, and then we'll call it an episode, shall we? Let's get this little bastard. Hello, or not, okay. They scare the crap out of me when they do that. All right, uh, you know what? Let's see if we can't get all of you guys together. That'd be nice if we could. Okay, you know what? I try to get. I want to get a nice fat apocalypse spell going on here. Okay, I want you guys all together, like right here, next to this guy. Come on, over here. There you go. You know what? That's good enough. Let's uh, apocalypse you guys. There you go. Nice 
fat chunk of damage. I'll take it. There you go. War Priest is not having any of it. Let's see how he likes a nice meteor spell. Ooh, he chowed down on the meteor spell. He lasted nice. That guy's got the uh, the health. And you're still alive. Jeez, dude. That guy is all about the danger. Leggings. Yeah. Alright, what else we got here? Buckler of Shelter. Elemental resistance. Not too horrible, I guess. Nothing great, though. Okay, I'm surprised these guys didn't join in the uh, festivities. And that missed. Hey, you know what? I need some mana here. Uh, yeah, let's pop a miner there. Ah, shit. I keep forgetting that you don't gotta hold down the, uh... Nice foot. Ooh, we got an achievement. I wasn't even trying. I keep forgetting we have to hold down the damn, um... The apocalypse spell, or don't have to hold it down. Okay, you guys are actually doing a fair chunk of damage here, so let's, uh... Apocalypse, or meter you guys to death here. There you go, that's the good stuff. War Priests are no joke. They're doing a good chunk of damage. And it's not just because they're uh, on hard mode, I don't think. I just, I just think these guys are naturally a lot tougher. Alright, what do you got there? Soft Scrabble Powder. Good. Okay, let's... Uh, warrior Strength and Ember Eyes. Alright. Let me check something here. I'm, I'm trying to see something here. Uh, let's see. Abilities. I want to know if this right here... Uh, counts towards um, all the shields, or if it just counts towards the the regular shields. I mean, does it count towards like the uh, mage shields, or or I'm, I'm hoping it does because I want to get that just for the extra damage and then or the extra damage reduction, pretty much. I'm assuming it does because otherwise there'd be a dedicated slot for it over here. And also, I probably want to, what is it, get a, get a better uh, shield, but eh, the, they're all talismans, aren't they? I keep, eh, well. Either way, I want to get that talent at some point, just for the extra damage mitigation there. Not that it's that major of a deal, and I'm going the wrong way again. But it'd be nice. I think eventually I'm going to end up uh, still putting some points back into the Longsword Mastery just so I can start using those again instead of like the Chakrams or possibly the Staff because I do like the Longswords the best and they do have a good chunk of good moves for them. The only problem is you'd be limited to some of the lower ones thanks to those damn uh, equipment requirements. But we'd still be able to figure something out I'm guessing. Okay, ooh, there's another quest over there. Okay, we'll come back to that guy next episode. For now, let's uh, go take care of these wolves in here. Why not? Oh, not wolves. Uh, kobolds. Perfect. You know what? I'm not even going to deal with you guys. You guys are just going to die a slow, miserable death. Hey, except for you. 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 Oh, you're, oh you're, the, uh, you're the you're the little boss guy. Eh, bossy enough. All right, Rock Claw, you are done, sir. You know, while we're here, let's check something out here. Um, items. Uh, let's see here. Where are those? Uh... Oh, so it just changes the color of the vial, I'm guessing. Crudoc vial. Yotan vial. Cobalt vial. Ethan vial. Okay, I guess they don't really change too much colors, because the Yotan should be done, right? What is this wine for? I forget. Eh, oh well. Alright, what do we got in here? Anything nice? Alchemy art. You know, I'll take that. Sure, why not? And what do we got over here in the pile of rocks? Ooh, gold coins, gold nuggets. That's just for selling, I do believe. 
This is a profitable little area. All right, there it is. I was about to say, where is the war stone? King were left with Talor Rain betwixt them, but neither held his share complete. And as these mortals build their kingdom, so too they had destroyed it all with war and jealousies. That was a short entry there. All right, let's see here. How are we doing on? Let's see. We got over there. We got over there. Still got plenty left to explore. We still got this little area to explore before we even think about going up here. This is a much bigger area than the wolves, that's for sure. But I like it. Alright, so next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what Fatir Scathe needs. Check out that lore stone. Get that waypoint right there. And then continue our exploration of the Taller Rain Lands. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.